Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to day eight of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Yesterday, we worked on adding custom tags to our contacts, and today we're going to kind of uh, build that out a little bit further and talk to you why, um, how that can benefit you, and why it's important. So, filters, when you're in your contacts, if you click on filters, this is going to allow us to start building smart views based upon a variety of information, including the custom tags that we put in yesterday. So uh, for example, I have all of my um, associates here at KW Platinum in Houston logged as KW Platinum. So I also have a lot of other contacts in my database. If I just wanted to see a database with strictly my agents from KW Platinum, I could come in here, type into custom tags until I find the tag that I want to choose. So I'm going to choose KW Platinum and say that's the only thing that I wanted to actually filter for. I could just do KW Platinum. Down here at the bottom, I can choose to apply and that'll show me a one-time sort. However, if I feel like that's a sort that I'm gonna to wanna to come back to, I could click on Save Smart View and then I could name the Smart View KW Platinum Agents. Now, I, if I wanna see this Smart View every time I log in, I could set it as my default Smart View However, if it's just one I want to look into periodically, I would not save it as my default. So if I click on Save Smart View, it's basically going to save that as one of my options within my Smart View options. And then we're gonna go back here in a second as soon as it saves and show you, um, well, it says there's an error. So let's say KW Platinum period. Let's see if that will take. So Save Smart View. And that one actually took. So now when we come over to select smart view, I can click on this drop down box. And now you see I have one called KW Platinum. Once I click on that smart view, it's only going to show me the agents that have been tagged with KW Platinum as a custom tag. If I go back, I can go back to all contacts, which is my default. And it shows me all of the contacts that are in my database. So we could use this in a, a variety of ways. The different ways that you could create smart views are, I mean, probably endless. You can see all the different filters that you could utilize. You could create a smart view based upon the last time that they visited. You could create a smart view based upon those custom tags that you put in. You could create a smart view based upon what the lead source was. Um, you could even do a date of birth one. Like I just want to know if their date of birth was in the last 15 days so I can send them a birthday card or an email or whatever it may be. So you can see all of the different smart views that are available, the filters, excuse me, that are available. And once you start playing with these filters and you get a view that you really want to see often, you can come down and click on save smart view. I would suggest playing in here, apply the search, make sure it's one that you like. And then you can go back to filters, recreate it, and then click on save smart view. That way you're not having a bunch of smart views that don't actually do what you want to do. Um, that is smart views utilizing custom tags, which we created yesterday. And that is today's command 66 day challenge. Hope everyone's having a great Wednesday and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks guys.